Hey YouTube, Sunil here, and today I wanted to just spend a couple moments talking about recursion. Now, I recently wrote an article that covers recursion in what I consider to be a lot more detail than you're going to see in some of these kind of introductory uh, articles or videos on the topic of recursion. Now, I made this because I felt that there needs to be uh, more emphasis placed on real life scenarios and situations where you could employ a recursive function. Um, because, you know, I don't know about you, but whenever I've read any kind of introductory articles or videos, they end up just talking about um, how to use recursion with regards to like something like the Fibonacci sequence or a factorial function. And I don't think these are really that useful. Um, I mean, they might help with regard to getting an understanding of what recursion is doing, but not necessarily under understanding of when you would use recursion or why you would use recursion. Now, I'm not going to spend much time in this video talking about it. The reason for that is because I really think if you want to understand recursion, you will take the time to read the article that I wrote. It's a free article, so it's not behind some sort of paywall or anything like that and I'll leave the link in the comments. Now just make sure you check that out. The example that we kind of take, you know, tear apart and, and deep dive into is this example where, you know, you can imagine that your boss, uh, you know, let's say you work, you work for a tech company and your boss wants you to uh, figure out a way to pull out the email addresses for every employee in the company from this big data structure full of nested objects and arrays. Now, there are a few ways that you could tackle this. You know, there are iterative solutions. Um, you know, you could do things with like flat maps and, and, and things like that. Uh, but you could also use recursion because, you know, anything that you can do iteratively can be done recursively. And you might find that there are benefits that you gain in terms of readability, which is important. Um, you know, the code we write is not just for the computer. It's it's for other humans to be able to understand and comprehend. Uh, those two things are the same word. I don't know why I said them both. Okay, everyone, that's the video. Um, I forgot to do this kind of like summary thing at the end, so I've had to record it after the fact. Uh, I just wanted to say, make sure you go and read the article if you haven't already. That's the bit that kind of ties everything together. This video is really just in uh, a kind of, you know, thing to push you to go and read the article which is the most important thing uh, and you know I'm planning on doing a lot of content in the field of kind of data structures and algorithms in the coming weeks and months it's definitely stuff you won't want to miss so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already share this with all your friends comment do some likes do all that good stuff that people do on the internet and I'll see you in the next video today I wanted to talk about recursion now the reason why I wanted to talk about this is, wait, I'm going to take a drink.